now. He's he's gotten pretty close to actually winning ignition on a couple of uh, couple of different occasions. Um, and the way Saris plays is if you don't expect it, Saris is gonna do it. Saris is the kind of guy who will throw out a Falcon Punch in neutral because sometimes they work. He's, he's he's the guy who lives off fear. If you're afraid of him, that's what he wants. Yes, we the Falcon Punches. Oh, I was about to say, if there's any time to do it, do it while Charizard's out because Big Boy Hitbox equals easy Falcon Punches. However, uh, it looks like he's not going to opt for the obviously unsafe option. He's going to play like an actual Falcon and get some pretty good count hits in on Ned. So, I, Ned, stra Ned could go with a couple different strategies because he's got a couple different Pokemon in his, uh, at his disposal. Yeah, there, there's nothing to do there. Um, a couple different Pokemon at his disposal, but Ned goes with the strategy of just matching Captain Falcon's uh, raw speed. Just trying to out-combo Falcon, and that's pretty good because uh, Squirtle's a nimble little piece of uh, word I can't say on stream that sometimes just, uh, <laughs> sometimes just makes you mad. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I mean, I feel the same way about Pichu. The small hitboxes, I think, are what really, or hurt boxes are what really drive people insane. No, I agree. Because, like, it'll, it, it'll look like you're about to hit him. It looked like it would hit him. It would hit pretty much any other character. But those two are so tiny that it just whips. Yeah, he turned unlike that fair. I actually caught it at the very last frame. No, it was a back air. Okay. Because fair, fair, you know what fair is, man. Fair is Of course the knee. I know it's the knee. And down air is the, wow, what do you, Why did I think that it? was a fair? Sometimes I do it too, honestly. God, because oh, it's almost like the knee is such a memorable move. It's like its own entity. It like it doesn't exist. Feels, yeah. it, it doesn't exist as a fair. It's just the knee. <laughs> yeah. Same with same with the heel in some ways. Yeah. I, I feel like especially because you seldom see it nowadays just because I, I don't think it's used as often off the edge. You just don't see it. Falcon uh, Falcon actually, if you, if you play Falcon, uh, fun fact, I don't know if you knew this, you don't actually have to use a controller. You just stare at the screen really hard and then Falcon just sort of conjures up moves that have their own being. Yeah. They have their own power source. Exactly. For example, I've been staring at the screen so long that I feel like a Captain Falcon is going to burst its way through my chest. Uh, not unlike a baby Xenomorph. Oh, yeah. That would be pretty painful, man. That would be super painful. Falcon punching right through your rib cage. I mean, you can't you can't live with that. That's a that's an L for life. We just turned this game to rated M, man. This is the next Mortal Kombat. Rated M for mature, featuring <laughs> Captain Falcon. Bro, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that this set is rated F for fun because so far it's been a pretty fun one. Uh, Ned has done a pretty good job at recognizing what uh, Saris is trying to do, utilizing Squirtle's uh, just smallish body and fast combos to really sort of throw Saris off his game. Yeah, indeed. Both are pretty high percentages. Uh, gotta say, it's a kill percentage for pretty much either character at this point. Ivysaur with uh, incredible in the aerials, ooh, especially Charizard with the hefty boys. Uh, both are over 100%, much like my certainty that Sub-Zero will make it into Smash, baby! Jesus. <laughs> what was that? That was a pop-off, my dude. Bro, I don't know. It might be the... It I don't know who it is. Man. Someone, someone down there has drank like three monsters. We gotta cut them off. Well, I got. Well, I'll <laughs> tell you who else is a monster. Ned right here, sitting at 103 percent, but still able to combo Saris into 43. Uh, he living. He's living pretty well. Maybe. Yeah, you know, I, I think Ned has done a good job at not utilizing Charizard at all. And that sounds like a weird thing to say, but honestly, I feel like Charizard in this matchup is just pretty unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Ivysaur is good at edge guarding Falcon, uh, and then Squirrel's good at racking up damage. You don't really need Charizard. Charizard's just for the combo food. I agree. Charizard would really not bring a lot to the table, unlike that down air from Ned. That was disgusting. Yeah, that, his down air pretty much just rivals his up air and ridiculousness. I, I mean, Ivysaur's aerials are so clean, so smooth, and so strong. Mm. It's a really similar hitbox, if I'm not mistaken, too. Like, they're both they're both way larger. I think they're both equally as large as Charizard is, as a, like, as in his model. Yeah. It's kind of insane how enormous those uh, those hitboxes are. But uh, I'll tell you what else is insane. Uh, Saris getting up to 94%, and Ned bringing out Charizard for what feels like the first time this game. I think he got... Uh caught in transition there. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, however, he knows that one big move at this point, as long as he doesn't take a whole lot of damage, will just it'll be an easy kill. You know what I mean? Because Charizard's so strong. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my oh god! My he god! hit him with the Falcon Punch! 
He does. He lives for the clips. And he hit him with the up air, the memes. <laughs> the memes. They are in this match, ladies and gentlemen. Sarah, welcome to Tri Point, dude. Sarah's won. Eat. Sarah's won that set. Yeah.